I met Samrita at the She Summit. I had done some photos of her and Agapi, and I'm actually here at the gallery because I'm documenting this event in this evening. Fat Free Samosa, I think, is such a deeply personal project for her of what she went through mentally, and I feel like I love it because it's all chapters of her life, of things that have affected her and that she's been able to overcome, and she wants to kind of share the journey with everyone to go through kind of this growing hills and valleys, peaks and valleys of her life with um, how she felt inside and how she's perceived publicly as a woman growing up in India and now in America. Oh, it's very interesting. I didn't know what to expect when I came in. I understand that she's put herself, uh, you know, her emotions out there and uh, um, it's a very interesting topic so I'm just reading my way through. It definitely speaks to, uh, I think, the part of her her life that she doesn't often share. Uh, so I'm just, I'm very impressed. It's beautiful, it's, it's creative, and uh, very inspiring. She's brought out all emotions that an Indian girl goes through really well. I couldn't expect it to be better because I can relate to some of these thoughts, almost all of these thoughts. And uh, like I come, I mean, if you are from an Indian middle class, be it the north, whichever part of India it is, it's always almost the same where it's a, a patriarchal society and how it's survival versus actually living life and she's brought out those emotions really well. So I, I love all the pictures. I actually would, I'm going to go and I, I'm going to go and buy it and hopefully share it with a couple of my friends or you know send it back home so that people can look at it, read it and have a different perspective. I mean, I can probably speak to, to, to almost everything that I've seen because I think there's always the story behind the story and certainly a lot more to be shared. Um, but I like her view on, uh, uh, I guess, her courage to speak about being a woman in her culture, in her country, in her family, and uh, the impact that that has had on her life and even where she is today, uh, that she's uh, been able to prosper and do great things. Uh, so that's very encouraging and that uh, definitely uh, stands out and just makes her, you know, a superstar in my eyes. Well, I think it's just fantastic all around. I mean, like I mentioned it being, um, this exhibit being brave, I think compiling a book and spilling, you know, your guts out about everything that you've experienced as a young girl and a woman is, is just incredible. I think it's all. It's all phenomenal. And these are all things that I think, especially women, for sure, can relate to. Even um, even if they weren't born and raised in India, you know, we all experience some degree of some of these challenges that she has. So I agree with her. We have to do, you know, this woman. We have to do education, and then we have to do right things. We do ourselves. You know, there's almost everything you can relate to because being a woman and being a minority. Um, I can definitely relate to Im immediately um, and I always felt like I was always striving to be just as good as men and so I relate with that a lot so you know then I forgot that I'm a woman because I'm trying to be a man or I'm trying to be not what society deems as a woman because I don't give a bleep do you know what I mean? So, and I, and I really like the fact that she says yes I'm an addict like art is her addiction because art is her way of saying things that she can't normally say on an everyday basis. You can't say these things to people, you can't say this stuff to your family, but through art she's actually able to say it. And she's actually able to share a very private emotion in a very public setting, and that public setting is her artwork. <laughs>